Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to install your own Sons of the Forest dedicated server. So a guy named Sebastian Smith made this possible. He created a repository on GitHub uh, after the release of the game, which allows you to run your own Sons of the Forest dedicated server seamlessly. Uh, it's an infrastructure as code implementation and it's very good. A lot of work goes into that. Um, plus, it's done with Docker, which makes it very flexible and scalable. Um, I'll leave it linked down in the description. Let's get into the steps. First thing you want to do is launch a VM. So you can use any network provided for this. For the purpose of this, I'm going to use AWS. I'll call it Woodwind Legends. The operating system, I will run Ubuntu Server LTS. For the instance type, uh, you can run this on a minimum of 4 gigs of memory, but I highly recommend at least 8 gigs or even 16 gigs to make the perf uh, game perform well, especially if you're going to play up to 8 players in multiplayer. It's going to select my key pair here existing security group the only thing you need to ensure is that the ports are open uh, on your network so we'll touch on that in a little bit for the storage i'll take a 20 gig drive the game takes up about 10 gig of storage so it's quite small i'm not going to edit out any of this because it really is very quick and easy then next step is you want to connect to your vm by shell so i'm going to log into this as user ubuntu which is the setup that aws gives you but the user you'll use depends on your network provider setup First thing we want to do before we get started is open up ports on the firewall. So first port on Ubuntu, it's universal firewall will allow port 8766 UDP. That's the Steam game port. Add that. Next up is the query port, which is 20. 7016 that's the query port and then the last one is the blob port 87 uh, 9700 then also just want to allow ssh and we need to i don't lose access to my own server Universal firewall enable. Great. Next up, you want to pull the repository, which I'm going to link in the description. If you're going to use Docker itself, you don't need this repository, but you can use it for Docker Compose or to see how it works. So, get clone into the folder of your choice and change into that folder there's the repository's contents then you want to create two folders in here the first one is called game and the second one is called theme cmd next step you want to just update the package package manager so that we can install docker so update the package manager let that run for a moment okay next step let's install docker
with docker installed you can run the given command so it's docker run uh restart always i set it like that so that it would always try and start up again if it fails interactive there are the ports that it's going to use and the directories it's pulling the docker image and it will run all its operations that's all there is to it, it that will bring up the container and when it's finished loading it will show you the progress loading the game in this console when it's finished loading and you've opened up your ports properly and everything is running and you can see docker is running and the sotf container is running you should be able to just go to multiplayer join dedicated and your server will show up depending on what the ping is if it doesn't show up you can refresh it and then you can connect to it and test it out once this is up though you can do a control c out of the console to stop docker or you can run a docker stop command and then you can edit the config file of the dedicated server so i'll show you what the location is on that that would be uh game user data and then dedicated server dot cfg where you can change any settings such as the server name that will show up on the multiplayer list uh, the maximum players you can set a password on it and several other settings so once the container is up you can stop it edit the config start it up again let's see how it's running uh docker attach and there we can see it's currently downloading enjoy guys i hope you manage with this if you need any help uh comment on the video see if someone can assist you enjoy